As we mentioned earlier, it is a sad day here at WSAZ. Joel Huffman, also known to many of you as Mr. Cartoon, has died. Of course, he started as a weather reporter here at WSAZ, but he will be remembered forever in the hearts of our viewers as Mr. Cartoon. Jewel played the role of Mr. Cartoon for decades at WSAZ, but he also did other things in the community before retiring in the mid-1990s. Jewel Huffman was 91 years old. That's how tens of thousands of people remember him with that either white and navy blue or the navy blue and the white piping and the black hat, again, grabbing the attention of children of all ages for generations here in the tri-state area. And certainly a legacy that you're not sure that anyone else can actually ever live up to that. It's interesting to know that no matter who comes here, one of the first people you hear about is Joel Mr. Huffman. Perfect. Absolutely. Tim Ear will be back with us when we come back and look back on Joel's life and his legacy. So stick around. All of it was. Yeah. It all worked together. I like children. They like me. And I wanted them to have a good time. The main idea was for them to take their mind off of a troubled world when I first started. And it was, and was getting pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to ease their minds and just not think about that happening. They're only low, you know, young once. Right. And it doesn't last very long. All right, so obviously that was his best memory of this time period of his life when mm -hmm. he touched a lot of children's lives during that. And right. something that a lot of kids, I mean, we have, they're all grown up now, but that yeah. was the theme on Facebook today. That Absolutely. That. I can't believe that he's gone. Right. I remember him. I watched him every day when I was a kid. And now they're... They're sad. Yeah, they're they're very sad, and and at the same time, I think we have. They, he brought so much joy to people who grew up around here, mm -hmm. who said, oh, "I'll never forget those days." And people talk to us all the time. They always all say, the "Oh, I remember yeah. Mr. If at the home and garden show or wherever we go, people always bring up the fact that they remember coming down to the studio, or they remember maybe if it was a live location and going to the Mr. Cartoon show. Because sixty something years later, Beeper is still our mascot here at yeah, WSU. That's true. Yeah, you see him at the parades. Uh -huh. He's and people living life right. Right. right, right there, yeah. Right? Beeper, yeah, Beeper will live on. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And in a way, that's the fun part is that that they, those that combination, the Jewel Beeper combo, um, it made so many kids happy. And those kids, as you pointed out, they're all mm -hmm. adults now. And actually, we're going to get into that right now. We, we prepared a little uh, report where we talk about some of those kids and how grown up they are now. But they'll look back. They may even see some of themselves in this report that we put together. Cartoonos! Let me hear it! All these tiny little kids, now full-grown adults, but adults with incredible memories of going down to WSAZ or a live show location all over our region for years and years to watch and participate in the Mr. Cartoon Show. Jewel Huffman was and remains a legend in their minds, and he loved every minute of it. The biggest thing I remember are the children, of course. But the one thing you got to have when you work with children you must like them, because if you don't, they know it. Jewel was a weather reporter at WSAZ for 38 years, but he will, of course, be remembered forever in the hearts of WSAZ viewers for his and everyone else's favorite role. During an interview in 2007, Jewel spoke about those spectacular days. It's amazing to me that I'm walking down the street and someone says, say, hi, Jewel. Hi, Mr. Cartoon. You give me your name. You're going to say hi, your first and last name. Hi, my name is Sarah Harper. I ended programs, hi, and I'll say it again. Don't forget there, cartooners. Getting close to the weekend now. Don't forget to go to the church or synagogue of your choice and take your mom and dad with you and everybody else you can. Don't forget to say your prayers before you go to sleep at night. Remember the magic word, please, thank you, you're welcome, excuse me, and I'm sorry. Everybody, don't forget also to your grown-ups, you say yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, and no ma'am. Everybody wave like men and say bye cartooners! Jewel remained active in his community, his church, and his family after retirement, blessed and lucky in life, and in his lasting legacy.
So Amazing. much fun. It takes a certain kind of person to be able to work with kids like that, too. It, and, and he talked about that, too. In, in that story, you heard what he said about how important it is to, to be on the kid's level and to be real with them because mm -hmm. nobody's going to know that you're faking it more than kids. And he did that. And remember, that was a daily thing right here in the studio. Right here, right, right behind us. Right. All the kids. It was back there. Right? used to be back there. All the kids sat right back here. They right. marched in in the afternoon. Yeah. Not only was it a, a fun time, but it was a memorable time because it was a, a field trip for a lot of kids from yeah. school. I mean, it was yeah. really a big deal. Yeah. And he came to them too because he did school visits. I saw a lot of mm -hmm. that on yeah. our Facebook page yep. too. I can't he came to our school. I remember when I met him back right. then and that's a really cool thing. They lined up outside outside the building and anybody who did this remembers they they'd line up outside the building on a weekday mm -hmm. and the line would stretch around the building and depending on how many people were there they'd either be able to let everybody in but sometimes they had to say no to some wow. people the way the story goes and close it down. And I guess I, I was lucky enough and I wish I had this this picture. I was lucky enough, our oldest daughter, who's now 23, mm -hmm. she was on the final Mr. Cartoon Show because they asked employees to bring, who had kids that were young enough to come down and bring them. So, of course, she has no memory. So you have a very interesting perspective. I hope you can put the brakes on whatever you're doing for the rest of the afternoon because we'd love for you to stick around in a few minutes. And I can do talk that. some more. You can yeah. do it for us. Yeah. I got to work with the guy. I did, he did I was going to we're talk about that, right? <laughs> we've been really a cool. team for a while. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All right. So he'll be right back in a few minutes to share some more memories. Yeah. Again, I was at his birthday party last year for his 90th, I think, high atop the West Virginia building. He was on top of the world. He was. Yeah. We posted that on our Facebook page yeah. last year. I think it was the most popular post of the year, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, and wished him happy birthday. Day, why else? Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. 800 posts and counting now wow. as people share their memories. Jewel Hoffman, also known to so many people as Mr. Cartoon for several generations of kids, passed away last week at the age of 91. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove joins us now with live with more on tonight's visitation services that got underway about an hour ago. <laughs> Yeah, Sam, a large crowd has gathered here at the First Presbyterian Church on Fifth Avenue in Huntington as folks are out to pay their respects to Mr. Huffman and his family. I talked a little bit earlier this evening with Mr. Huffman's son, Marvin. He says the family is just so incredibly moved and thankful for the outpouring of support that they have gotten from thousands of people, uh, people who grew up watching Mr. Cartoon, who have moved on and are living in different places across the country, Texas, California. Marvin says they have gotten messages from just about everywhere you can imagine and from people who watched that program and uh, who have never forgotten the lessons that Mr. Cartoon shared. He says, you really can't ask for a better blessing in a time like this as you're mourning a loved one to know that the, your loved one's legacy will live on. Even though it is a time of sadness, we're, we're actually celebrating his life and we want everybody to be a part of that. And it's just, and with social media now, it's just amazing how I've been able to connect with so many different people. And it's just wonderful to share stories and, you know, pictures and everybody's got their own, everyone has their own jewel story. You know, and getting to hear them all is just wonderful. And Marvin says it was a real treat getting to grow up with Mr. Cartoon as your father because he says he really was the same man at home as he was on television. We're going to hear more from that interview, Tim, tonight at 10 and 11. All right. Hey, thanks, Andrew. And the visitation, by the way, lasts until 8 o'clock tonight at First Presbyterian Church on Fifth Avenue in Huntington. The funeral is set for tomorrow at 1 o'clock at the same church.